If you're interested in learning more about space image management, grab a seat in our Juno Space Essentials course. For full details, just visit juniper.net slash courses and search for space. Now go grab some popcorn because it's time for your learning bite. Hello, my name is Zach Gibbs and I am a content developer within education services inside of Juniper Networks. And today we will be discussing the Juno Space Image Management Learning Bite. Manually upgrading Juno's devices is a time-consuming process. You first have to transfer the OS image to the Juno's devices. Then you have to log into the Juno's devices and issue the upgrade command. Not such a big deal if it's one, two, ten devices, but what if you have a hundred devices or thousands of devices? That's a very time-consuming process. All right, so let's talk about using Juno Space with the network management platform application. It's a one-time quick process. You upload the images that you need to the network management platform application. Then you upgrade the uh, managed Junos devices through the network management platform application. Now this is a scalable solution. Hundreds of Junos devices, thousands of Junos devices, it doesn't matter. As you, the operator, it takes you just as much time to go through and upgrade 10 devices or one device as it does a hundred or a thousand Junos devices. Now keep that in mind, it might take Juno Space more time, whether it's a hundred or a thousand devices or ten devices. Those timings are going to be different for Juno Space, but that's automation. Once you set the ball in motion, you can walk away and come back and check it later. Let's talk about the steps you need to do to upgrade Juno's devices with a network management platform application. First, you have to upload the images. Pretty self-explanatory. Then you need to select the image. Then you need to select the image and choose the deploy device image option. Or you could use the stage image on device option. And the difference between those two is that the deploy device image option will put the image on the device upgrade the device and you're good to go. The stage image on device is a little different. This allows you to put the images on the device and then go back later and upgrade the devices. Now keep in mind you cannot deploy multiple images at the same time. What you have to do there is create multiple deploy image jobs to deploy multiple different images. And before you complete a deployment job, there's a couple different options, such as the archive data, delete any existing image before download. Now that one's great. That one's going to allow you to have a higher chance of successfully upgrading the device because there won't be another image on there that could cause an issue with room on the storage of the device. Then you can reboot the device after successful installation, and you can also check compatibility with the current configuration. So in our image management example, we have 10 Junos devices that need to be upgraded. All of them are currently running 12.1 x46d20.5. The devices on the left, SREX0 through SREX4, needs to be upgraded to 12.1 x46d30.2. The devices on the right, SREX5 through SREX9, needs to be upgraded to 12.1 x47d20.7. Now I do want to point out that there are only 10 devices here and so manually upgrading these devices is not that big of a deal. However, using Juno Space to automate this process for you still saves a lot of time. And remember, whether it's 10 devices or a thousand devices, the process is the same. Alright, here's the GUI. We are currently in the network management platform application. Let's look at the devices workspace, the device management workspace to see the different devices we have. We have SRX0 through SRX9 and each of these devices are running Junos OS version 12.1 x46d20.5 as you can see in the OS version field. So let's go to the images and scripts workspace and then drill down to the images workspace. You can see here we have three different images uploaded. Two of these images are the images that we need for the upgrade. So if we right click on any of these images we get quite a few options. We can view the device image in detail, we can modify the device image, or delete the device image. The next two options are our two important options. We have deploy device image and stage device image. Worldwide. Or excuse me, stage 
image on device. And the major difference between those two are if you select deploy device image, that means that you're going to push the image to the devices and upgrade the devices at the same time. The stage image on device option allows you to push the images to the devices without upgrading them. Now you might ask yourself at this point, why would I ever want to just push an image to the device without upgrading it? Well the answer to that has to do with if you are going to upgrade devices that are in a production environment passing live traffic, you cannot typically do it in the middle of the day when a business is attempting to function. So you're going to have to do the disruptive part, which is the upgrade in the middle of the night. However, pushing the images out to the devices is a time-consuming process. So you could stage the images to the devices in the middle of the day, which is not a disruptive process. And then in the middle of the night, when you have to upgrade the devices, you can simply upgrade them. You don't have to sit around while the devices are waiting for the image to be uploaded to them. Let's go ahead and stage an image on some of the devices. Notice that we selected the 12.1 X46D30.2 image and you might recall that the SRX0 through SRX4 devices need that image. So we select the necessary devices and then we have some staging options. Actually just one and we can select this to delete any existing images on the device before download. Now I think this is a great option because this is going to increase the odds of the successful downloads to the devices in case you are running low on storage on those devices themselves. So then lastly we could also schedule to do this at a later time. So let's stage this image. and then we'll stage the other image. Recall that the SRX5 through SRX9 devices need the X47 D20.7 image. So let's select those. And again we'll delete any existing images before download to increase our odds of successfully pushing the image to the devices. Then let's look at the jobs workspace. We can see we have our two device image staging jobs in process. So this will take a bit of time so I will pause the video while this completes. So the images have successfully been pushed to all the devices. The jobs are completed successfully. And so let's jump back to the images workspace. And now we can deploy those images or upgrade the devices by deploying those images. Start first with the X46D30.2. Select the deploy images. And before I do that, I do want to note that you can remove the image from the stage device as well. That option is now available. So recall that this is the X46D30.2 image and those devices that need it is SRX0 through SRX4. Now we have some deployment options you need to make sure that you check the use image already downloaded to device checkbox. That will allow JunoSpace or tell JunoSpace to use that previously staged image. And I also want to point out that if you look at this staged status field, you can see that those devices are marked as staged. Then we can select the remove the package after successful installation to make sure that we don't clog up the storage. And then I still like to select the delete any existing image before download to maximize the chances of our success. Then we have another section called the conventional deployment options. We can select the check compatibility with current configuration option and that's the same thing as the CLI command of validate if you're upgrading through the CLI. We can check the load succeeds if at least one statement is valid. 
that's the same thing as the best effort command in the CLI. Then this next option that is already checked is important, reboot device after successful installation. If you don't check that, you will have to go back through manually and reboot each device to get the new package, the new image on the device. And then we can upgrade the backup routing engine only. That can be necessary if you have a situation to where, say, a new routing engine was placed in as the backup routing engine and it is on a different version of code than the master routing engine. Then let's go back and complete the process for SRX 5 through 9. Make sure we select the right devices. You can see that the staged status field is marked as staged. Let's make sure we select that use image already downloaded to device option. And let's select the other options that we selected in the previous job. Then let's jump to the job management workspace. And this is going to take a little bit to complete, so I'm going to pause the video until it finishes. All right, so those two jobs finished successfully. All 10 devices were upgraded successfully. And then if we scroll up, we can see that those devices resynced with Juno Space after the upgrade. So now we can go to the device management section and we can see the different versions of code that we have here. We can see 0 through 4 have been upgraded to x46 d30.2 and then we can see 5 through 9 have been upgraded to x47 d20.7. So that brings us to the end of this learning bytes. In this learning byte we discussed image management with a Juno Space network management platform application. And as always, thanks for watching. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.